Okay, welcome to Yin Yoga. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a good idea to remember the context we're doing our yoga in. And whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere, it's the time of the year where we're changing seasons. In the Northern Hemisphere, moving from the winter into the spring. So you'll find yourself doing different activities, having different sensibilities, maybe even different aches in the body. And in the Southern Hemisphere, we're moving from the summer to the autumn. So likewise, we find the body changes its needs a bit. It may still manifest in the same parts of the body, like hips, low back, spine, neck, shoulders. But the needs will be slightly different. So take a moment to tune in to the change of seasons. Maybe you already noticed the different activities you're up to. Outdoors a little more. Hiking. Raking. Getting hit by unexpected storms. And just lay yourself to rock from side to side for a moment in your seat. Feeling the weight pour into one side of the body and then the other. So often in yoga we overlook the side body, the ribs, shoulders, hips from the side. The next time you rock to the left, pause and just stabilize yourself for a moment and let the ear come down towards the shoulder. Let that right arm dangle for a moment so you feel the shoulder, the right shoulder tractioning away from the neck. Allow your breath to become smooth. Allow the weight to sink more into that leaning hand, that leaning side. And then inhale, raising the right hand up, bringing it to the back of the head. Bring your right elbow back a bit. Feeling the stretch in the right rib cage down into the hip. And just with the lightest of touches on the back of the head, turn the head, look down towards the ground, and then up towards the ceiling. A few more times, just moving the head left and right. Dropping that right hand back down, tractioning out the neck once again. And just with a little push into the left hand, come up slowly. Notice the impact of that lateral movement of the spine. And begin to rock from side to side. <clears throat> Let the right hand support the weight this time and left ear comes down. Let that left arm dangle to traction out the neck. Bring 
breathing smoothly, slowly, floating the left arm up and tapping the back of the head, lifting the elbow, the left elbow, feeling that lift the ribs out of the hips, Whew. opening up the side body. Gentle turns with the head down and up. Feeling the ability of the head to pivot at the end of the spine. And the next time you're in neutral, let the left hand dangle. Gently push up to neutral. And then take the left hand behind the back, anchoring, grabbing hold of the waistline of your pants. Bring that left shoulder back. You can even push it with the right hand. Push it back. And then the right hand can anchor onto the leg or thigh. Turning the head to the right. Now relax the shoulders here as you sit up tall in this twist. And at the same time, increase the twist with that left shoulder back. And gently nod the head down and up. Slowly. Now maintain that left shoulder back, even come back further if you can, but this time turn the head to the left, to the same side as the twisted shoulder. And gentle little head nods here. Let the head come to neutral, chin over sternum, gentle head nods here. Feeling the range of motion in the neck and head in all three directions. Ah. <sighs> Inhale, neutral, release the grip and allow the body to unwind itself slowly and gradually. So continuing to work on digestion, let's twist to the other side. Right arm back, right shoulder back, push the right shoulder. Anchor the left hand. Relax the shoulders, sit up tall. So feeling the digestive organs here in the twist. Turning the head to the left.
slow head nods here. Keep those exhales nice and long, releasing tension from the body. Bring the head to neutral, bring that right shoulder back more and then turn the head to the back shoulder. And once again, slow, rhythmic breathing, moving the head with the breath. Use the breath to relax. And then bringing the head to neutral chin over sternum, right shoulder back a little more, slow head nods. Bring the head to neutral, release the grip, relax the body, unwind naturally, slowly. And then change your seat. I'm going to use a rolled up towel or blanket to sit on. Have a strap handy. And if you have blocks or a bolster, have that handy as well. Soles of the feet together. Sit on the edge of your blanket so you feel the tilt of the pelvis forward. And you feel that opening up the internal hips. If it's too much strain, chop your thighs up with blocks. And you can grab your arches strongly with the thumbs. The finger pads can push into the top of the feet. As you exhale, gently come forward a little bit with the chin away from the chest. So put your fist between the chin and the chest so you resist the temptation to drop the chin and round the back. So you have this hinging effect. Ah. And we'll do gentle head nods here. Dropping the chin, lifting the chin. Relaxing the shoulders. So think of your relaxation as important as the shape, the pose, as the stretch. Train yourself to relax. Without relaxation, We're not really helping the nervous system. Now the next time the head comes to neutral, one fist between the chin and the chest, lean forward a little more and turn the head left. 
back to neutral, and then right. So turning the head left and right. And every now and then coming a little closer to the floor. Bring the head to neutral. And with a bolster or blocks, see if you can rest your head on bolster or blocks. Coming into the last 60 seconds of this pose. You can walk your hands out if you want to. And over time, you might lower the blocks even further. Relax the shoulders. Practice relaxation in this pose. Five more seconds. Use your hands to walk you back to lift the torso up. Woo! Remove your props and grab a strap. Extend the left leg out. And dry it out through the heel bone. And then take the right hand behind the back, left hand crosses over, anchor the hands, twist, bring that right shoulder back more. And then turn the head to the left. Push out through that right heel bone. Curl the toes back. And then gently nod the head. Ha! Ah. Nice. Gently bring the head back to the back shoulder. Gentle head nods. Bring the head to neutral, relax, release the grip, unwind naturally. And grab your strap and put it over that extended foot, extended leg. You might floss the foot a bit, activate the bottom of your foot. And then find a good anchor on the foot where the arch meets the ball. Pull back. Gently walk the hands towards the foot, bringing the head towards the knee.
As you relax more, see if you can come closer to the knee. And then slowly come back. And take both ends of the strap into your right hand, the hand that's furthest from that extended leg. And simply lift up and look up towards the ceiling. Reach down towards that left foot with your left hand. And walk your right hand down towards the foot. Feeling the rib cage on that right side of the body open up. Breathe smoothly. Back off if it's too much. Go deeper if it's not enough. Breathe smoothly. Slowly. And then slowly come up. Now take that same strap behind your back and grab it with that right hand. So you've got that half bind now going deeper. Bring the left hand onto your right knee. Pull against the right knee. Bring that right shoulder back. Breathe smoothly. Curl the toes back. <coughs> Curl the toes back on the extended leg. So that left hip should really feel a lot of opening right now. Now carefully bring your head down towards that right knee. You can use your hand to support you against the ground. Traxioning out the low back now. Slowly come up. Release the strap. Sit for three or four breaths here to simply feel the sensations. Even though you're still, feel how much movement is going on inside of you. How much aliveness Carefully change sides. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> so that right leg is out to the side of the mat. Toes are curled back. And we'll start with the left hand behind the back. Anchor into the pants. Right hand across, driving out through the heel bone, and turn the head to the right, slow head nods.
Bring the head to neutral. Exhale the head to the left shoulder. Slow head nods. Relax the body, relax the shoulders, relax the face. And then bring the head to neutral, releasing the grip slowly. Three or four breaths to become aware of the sensations you're stirring up inside the body. This really gets deep into the organs of the body as well. Twists. Doing a lot of twists today. Grab your strap and you can massage the bottom of the foot, flossing it. Find a good position where the ball meets the arch. And you can slowly walk your hands down towards the foot, head towards the knee. Feeling the low back traction out as you come further forward. Keep driving out through the heel bone as you breathe smoothly. Can you go a little further or not? Without strain. Carefully walk your way back. Taking both ends of the strap into the left hand. And then walking that left hand down, the right hand down towards the foot. The right ear towards the right, the right knee. Left elbow in the air. You can walk the hands down the strap as well. So getting into the low back and the hips in a slightly different way while that right hip stays open. And slowly come back. Take the left hand behind the back and grip your strap. So you're using the resistance of the strap to bring that left shoulder back more. Right hand can cross over.
Driving out through the heel bone, toes curl back, turning the head to the right. Slow head nods. start to bring in the context of the change of seasons again whether you're moving from the winter to the spring or the summer to the fall feel each of our change of shapes like a transition where that time is very important to acclimate as you change shapes. Keep the twist as you turn the head, transition the head to the left shoulder. Recalibrate and then head nods. Bringing the head to neutral, relax the body, soften the grip on the strap, allow the body to unwind itself, pause, notice the sensations you've generated in that stillness. And then make your way onto your back. Use the transition to your back like the transition of the seasons. So you're changing from one season to another right now. So stay with the transition nice and gently, slowly. Be conscious of every little shift of movement. Have your strap handy, your blocks. When you come down onto your back, knees together, feet apart, hands to the side, teepee pose. Moving into a new shape, a new season. Feel the difference. Feel the difference in the back. Feel how there's a different kind of relaxation can come into the body in this shape. Can you really let go? Let the relaxation be as important as the shape or the breath. Bring the knees apart, uh, just to neutral, lift the hips up and take a block or a bolster or a rolled up blanket and put it under the hips, support it back then. Pick up the left knee and hug the left knee towards the ribs. Adjust your block if you need to. Pick up the right knee and hug both knees towards the ribs.
Reach down for your feet into happy baby. You can allow your thumbs to pull back on the toes. Stretching the bottom of the toes. Now on the count of five breaths, five breaths, you're going to slowly, ever so slowly, let the legs come up into the air. So it's like they're growing like a plant grows. It's going to take you five breaths for the feet to extend, heels to heaven. Very slowly. So you can feel each part of the movement of the inversion as the legs straighten. Push the heels to heaven, toes curled back, relax the arms, relax the upper torso, chest, back, neck, face. We're going to change seasons again. Let the transition be gradual. Take another five breaths to come into the splits. So the legs are going to slowly widen over five breaths. I want you to feel each nuance. You can even bring your hands between the thighs to support them. To slow it down. And hold this new season, this new shape. Can you go a little wider? Toes curled back. Drive out through the heel bones. Once again, a slow transition. This time you're simply going to bend the knees and let the shins dangle slowly, slowly, slowly. So you're still in the splits, but now you're in sleeping buck. Relax the arms. Another slow transition, bringing the knees towards each other and then the feet back into the air. Three or four breaths, no rush. Slow mo. Keep the left, uh, the right foot in the air. Bend the left knee. Hug the left knee into the ribs and then cross your left ankle over the right knee 
So you've got a figure four and pull the figure four back towards your ribs. You can use your hands holding the left leg or you can thread the needle and pull on the hamstring of the right. Change of seasons here, release. Letting that left leg grow back to the sky like a plant. No rush. Maybe feel the difference between the two hips after the figure four. Bend the right knee towards the ribs. Cross the right ankle over and then hug. Hug the figure four into the ribs. Letting each breath out relax you. Let the relaxation be as important as the shape. Relax. 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 Now letting the left knee dangle, uncrossing the ankle, bring both feet to the earth. You're going to lift the hips here and remove the block. Slowly lower the hips, TP pose. Bring the feet together, knees together, and lift the feet and knees into the air, making a nice 90 degree angle at the kneecap. Shins parallel to the ground, hands out 90 degrees. And I want you to roll to the left side until your left knee comes onto the ground. If it doesn't reach the ground, I want you to put a block under the left knee. Or a cushion. Bring the left hand on top of the right knee and pull it down towards the floor. Reach the right arm over the head slowly. Now bring the right hand parallel to the ground in front of the heart, reaching in front of you, palm down. And then reach the right hand down towards the feet. 
pulling the right shoulder away from the neck. Palm down. Keep the knees grounded as you bring the right hand behind your back. Palm down on the ground. Or if your hand doesn't reach the ground, put it on a block. Release the pressure of the hands. Slowly come onto your back. Knees together, feet apart, TP. Relaxation. Relaxus Maximus. Feel what you've created inside your own body. Feel the space you're creating for your organs here. With all these twists. Raise the knees. This time bringing the right knee down to the ground. Or a block. And then take the right hand to bring the left knee down. It may not come all the way, that's okay. Digesting food. Oh. Massaging organs. Relaxing. Breathing. Raise the left hand over the head, opening up the rib cage, palm up. That might give you a chance to drop that left knee more. Smooth breath. Relax on the exhale. And then slowly bring that left hand in front of the heart, palm facing the earth. And the knees should come down even more grounded on the earth here. Rotate the hand down past that top hip, reaching for the feet. Drop the left shoulder, traction out the neck. And final rotation behind the back, palm down. Keeping that left knee down as much as you can. It should be a lot easier now. Having grown longer in the piriformis, the glutes.
release the pressure, allow the body to come onto the back once again, knees together, feet apart, TP pose, feel a new relaxation, new change of season, New breath. Then slowly extend the legs into Shavasana. New shape. If you can, try to access a new level of relaxation. As you breathe out, relax. As you breathe in, expand. Relax. Expand. If you start to tighten up again, if you start to focus on your thinking process, there'll be a reaction, a tightening. Try to let go of the reaction. The opposite of reaction is relaxing. The ultimate relaxation is no reaction at all to any thought that arises, to any feeling that arises. Let go of the reaction. Stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you're changing seasons, take five to ten breaths in the transition, 
so that every part of the transition is conscious. Every movement is felt slowly. Finding a seat of your choice. Relax into the shape you've created. Relax into who you are. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you.